see. He's up there top ten in a number of the national passing categories. As we second down and ten, a heavy rush. And Dalton Williams has to get rid of it, throws it at the feet of Jawan Chisholm. See him read and diagnose the screen pass, gets over there to cover the back. Chisholm, nothing doing. For those guys to look ahead, they're trying to develop some maturity on this roster and some leadership. A.J. Johnson with the tackle. Cue the leadership. That's the guy right there. Eight and ten from the 35. And Chisholm with a big carry out across the 50. More of the safety making the stop. But after a 17-yard pickup for Chisholm. He gets the rock again. This time tackled by Maurice Couch, the defensive end. That's the first time that Akron's ever run the ball back-to-back. -back. Not really, but you go know, with 961 yards as they go right back to him again. I was half joking about that, Matt, but that is the first time they've had it. On first and ten, Juwan Chisholm. Not much on the play for Chisholm. Darrington Centimore. Juwan Chisholm on the carry. Three-yard pickup. Interesting that uh, Quentin Hines, the kid who had the 75-yard. Pretty impressive that he did that at the 36, too. Looking back on that, uh, I didn't realize at the time that he was so young. His one year as an assistant coach actually came at Akron with yeah. Jerry Faust in 1986. You see his coaching highlights as the crowd trying to spark and ignite this Tennessee defense to come up with a stop after the offense put him back on top. That's really the first. Chisholm dives and got it, I believe. Jawan Chisholm with airborne to get that first down and moves the sticks. That's a heady play by Chisholm as first down marker. Back to live action and a catch by Sewell for a short gain. That was one heck of a play because there was no... Sometimes there's guys that were meant to do certain things. And Chuck Amato's one of those guys that was meant to be a football coach. You see him kind of read you at Neyland Stadium. Chisholm on the carry. His 